ArrayList. Let's talk about ArrayList in Java. So basically what an ArrayList is, you can think of it as a one-dimensional array that's dynamically sizable. So what do we mean by that? It means basically we can start off with a box and then we can add another box and we can add another box. Okay, and we can add these anytime we want. So we can add them as many as we need anytime we want. If we choose to uh, delete an item, so if we delete that box, then basically the array list closes up that space. Okay, so it's dynamically in size. It can get as big or as little as we need dynamically. It's not set to one size. So let's look at uh, how we use those. So first off on that, we need to uh, load the ArrayList library. So that's under the Java util ArrayList library. Okay, and while we're here, let's talk about real quick here. We're going to talk about how to sort that ArrayList. Okay, so in order to sort an ArrayList, we're going to have to use the Java util collections, and that has a sort feature in here that will allow us to sort the ArrayList. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look down into our program here. So I got a variable going on here that we're going to use shortly. It's called just a string variable. And here is where we actually create the array list. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create an array list called cars new and array list. Okay, that's it. We bring it brings it in here. We've now instantiated the uh, array list. We're ready to use it. Now, in order to add data to the array list, we simply use cars and then we use the dot add method that goes with it okay so if we're adding a string in here we can throw a string in there if we would uh, wanted to add a number we can add a number okay so uh, we can basically just use the different ads and here we're adding uh, four different items a Chevy a Scion and a Honda okay now in order to get that information out we use the get okay so here we're going to get number three so what is number three? Okay, it follows the same conventions as an array. So basically this is slot zero, slot one, slot two, slot three. So if we use the cars.get, that pulls the information out, okay, and that will actually print Honda. Okay, so in order to get put information in, we're going to use add. To get information out, we're going to use get. Now, let's go ahead and move farther down into our program here. I've got a for statement here on here and how we can print the contents of our array list out. And what I'd like to show you here right here is this the dot size. Okay, so this is the actual size of the array list. So it actually counts the actual number of boxes. So this will actually have the number four in here for our current array list. So it starts with one and goes through four on that. So we'll actually count to the number four. So uh, basically, once again, here we have a car, we have our counter. There's a counter less than the size. So our, our actual element will be last one will be three. Okay. And then here's our incrementer. So then we're going to actually print this out. And you'll notice here, once again, we're using the cars.get. And then we're getting the car counter. This is the actual index for the array list. So it's pretty in, uh, pretty easy to uh, get put information in and to pull information out. Let's move a little farther down into our program. Let's talk about sorting. Okay, to sort the array list, it's real easy uh, by using that collections. So as we saw earlier, we're going to use the import Java util collections. And in the collections in here, they have a sort. Okay, so we have a dot sort. So what that's going to allow us to do then here is if we uh, then put our array list, we put our array list right here, okay, into our sort, that will sort our array list for us. And once again here, I have a for loop that's actually point of going to print this out there for us and show us that it has been sorted. And once again we're using the dot size to get the size of the array list. Let's move a little farther down into our program. So he says okay 
uh, we're to the point here where we can add information in, we can uh, get information out, but what happens if I actually want to remove an item on here? So we can actually use the dot remove, okay, and that can actually then um, remove our information. Now there's two ways of doing this. We can reference it by the index, okay, so this is the index of three, okay, now if we look up a little farther up here, Just refresh your memory here real quick. This is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so Honda is in the 3 spot. So, if we actually want to remove Honda, and we know its index, then we can simply use remove and input the index of that element 3 in there, and this will actually remove Honda. So Honda is now out of the um, array list. Once again here, I got that for statement in here, so you can print that out. And you can actually see that the Honda is removed. Okay, but you're saying, all right, what happens if I don't actually know the index for that value? Okay, so if I know the value, okay, so down here, I'm going to assign Chevy, okay, to our string variable. Okay, so I know Chevy, I want to get rid of Chevy, but I don't know where it's at in the array list. Then we can actually put the value in, our remove, right here, okay, and that will remove Chevy. So, there's two ways that we can remove data from the uh, array list. We can either reference the index, okay, so we can reference the index, or we can reference the actual value of the uh, box, okay. So, that's how you can get information out of an array list. Let's go down just a little farther here into our program. And I want to show you two more things here that will help you out when you use array list. First off here, let's look back here at the add. Okay, so maybe I want to add Dodge to the beginning of the list, okay? So what we can uh, do here is we can actually put the index right back into add, and then we can put the value, okay? So this will insert Dodge at the beginning of our list, okay? If I wanted it to be the uh, third spot in our list, okay, then I could simply put the word, uh, the index 2, because remember, we count from 0, 1, and then 2, so that's the third spot. I could put two in here, put dodge in there, and that would be put it at the third spot in our array list. So we have some flexibility of where we can put um, our items in our array list. Now, you're saying, okay, uh, that's fine, but I actually want to clear everything out of the array list. So to clear everything out of the array list, we simply use the, the dot clear method and there's nothing in it, that's blank. So to empty the array list, we use cars.clear, and that will totally and completely uh, remove the items out of the, of the array list. So, that's the basics on using an array list. So we use the dot add to put data information in. To get information out, we use the dot get. Okay, we can sort it with the dot sort, but we have to use the collections um, library. So we use the Java util collections and that will have the sort library which allows allow us to sort the array list. Okay. And then we can do uh, the clear. And that will clear our array list for us. So that's the basic view uh, overview on how you can use array list in Java.